please be ready for a dictation of a matter on governor's role taken from the wikipedia 5 seconds start india follows the principle of decentralization and a dual set of governments functioning at the central and the state level governor is the nominal head of the state and performs similar functions and duties like the president does for the republic of india the governor is however the head of the state as well as the representative in the union government thus the governor performs a dual role the constitution vests in the governor all the executive powers of the state government the governor appoints the chief minister who enjoys the support of the majority in the state legislative assembly the governor also appoints the other members of the council of ministers and distributes portfolios to them on the advice of the chief minister the council of ministers remain in power during the pleasure of the governor but in the real sense it means the pleasure of obtaining majority in the legislative assembly as long as the majority in the state legislative assembly supports the government the council of ministers cannot be dismissed the governor appoints the chief minister of a state he or she also appoints the advocate general and the chairman and members of the state public service commission apart from this state election commissioner is also appointed by the governor though removed by the president the president consults the governor in the appointment of judges of the high courts and the governor appoints the judges of the district courts all administrations are carried on his or her name he or she also has the power to appoint staff for his or her tenure in class 1 and class 4 as per constitution of india the governor of the state by virtue of his or her office is also the chancellor of most of the universities in the state the dignity and impartiality of the office of chance of the chancellor puts the governor in a unique position with regard to protecting the autonomy of the universities and saving them from undue political interference the governor as chancellor of university also acts as president of the senate governor has power to direct inspection of every component of the universities and affiliated colleges required due action on the result of inquiry the chancellor appoints search committee for appointments of vice chancellor governor accords consent of warrant of degrees and withdraw withdraw degree or distinctions both at the recommendations of the senate governor approves or disapproves statutes passed by the senate and appoints teachers of the university based on recommendation of the respective committees the state had summons the sessions of both houses of the state legislature and prorogues them the governor can even dissolve the state legislative assembly these powers are formal and the governor's use of these powers must comply with the advice of the council of ministers headed by the chief minister the governor inaugurates the state legislature by addressing it after the assembly elections and also at the beginning of the first session every year the governor's address on these occasions generally outlines new policies of the state government a bill that the state legislature has passed can become a law only after the governor gives assent the governor can return a bill to the state legislature if it is not a money bill for consider- reconsideration however if the state legislature sends it back to the governor for the second time the governor must assent to it the governor has the power to reserve certain bills for the president stop